This video was brought to you by Marcus Biel, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stoltenberg, Camp Power, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? Uh, yeah, we're still at the car expo, but behind me here you see Voya Dream. I tested Voya 3 before. This is another Voya, but it is a big, I think I call it a minivan. So I had to show you guys how big it is and how cool it is. So let's start with, uh, I think here, the party trick is here. It has sliding doors, which should be practical when you go in shopping malls. But look at these seats, man, the Chinese people. Look in here, huh? What the heck? It is super spacious, but also luxurious. These captain's chairs or whatever I should call them, the business class seats. Okay, you can have here, we have massage, we have ventilation and we have a heater. So yeah, what oh, the responsiveness on the, okay there. And then we have plenty of adjustment. Okay, you see here, let me see. Uh, this is for the leg rest thingy. I need to test now. Okay, so we have it that, that way. Okay, but if we go all the way up, what does it look like then? Wow. Okay, okay, nice. And then how much can you recline? That is also the question here. Look at that. Huh? Wow, 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 look at this, look at this. <laughs> I need to test this. Okay, okay, let me see if we lay down here. Oh, oh. Well, the only problem is that if I try to, wait, how, how do you do this? Uh, the, the weird thing is that uh, to go back and forward, you have to use manual here. You have to slide it manually. So that's a bit weird, but no, 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 that's better. That's better, you see? Here, I can lie, lay down kind of like flat-ish. Oh man, I can get used to this. Hi-Fi, go home. <laughs> oh, if this can be less annoying than a hi-Fi, then it's sold, it's sold. Okay, but let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, wait, wait, uh, 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 um, so how, how much back can it go? That's what, so now, but you see now it eats up so much space of the third row. So if we can just reset, no, it's not fully, there's no presets here, is it? Okay, I have to go back, back a little bit. All right, but but okay. Let me see, I have to retract this part. I want to see what it looks like. But um, uh, you have to then manually push this. Uh, uh, okay, whatever. Let's get in there. Look here. Cup holder here. All right. Um, it becomes, uh, maybe if you're sitting like this and you, your hand is like his, oh, oh shit, man. Uh, I have to reach all the way there uh, for the bottle. Uh, okay, and then here, what is that? We have 12 volt outlet and one USB-A, one USB-C. Oh, it's 60 watt. It can charge tablets and, and uh, laptops even. Here we have a little lid for putting your shit. And then also we have a little pocket here. Will it fit a phone? I've seen this in many cars nowadays. It can fit a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. At least. Um, oh, interesting. I like this. You can mess with the seat in front. So this is very practical if you're a daddy and you need to put the car seat here. So, uh, but you can't do anything here, but you have door pocket. I mean, you have pocket there. Ooh, this is so big and sturdy. I like it. What about here? Look at it. Close the door. It has handle here. You see, they thought about all the details. Wow. This door is just massive. Look at that tiny speaker. It's Asian size speaker. Look at the <laughs> Well, it's just a tweeter, but still, here is a bigger speaker down there. Okay, how about that? Uh, we ha also have some cup holders here, even though I don't know why they are so shallow. Hmm. Okay, but man, man, lots of space here. Is this double glazed window? I'm not sure. We have a coat hook there. We have HVAC there, uh, there, air vent. We have settings for HVAC here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we can also close the... the cover here or open it nice we have the ambient light on the roof we also have uh, handles on actually almost all doors except for here where you have the sun glass holder there okay let me see um, open the door let's get out wow what a car what a minivan you know once I get more kids this is what I need man but do I really want Voya or what about what about EQS? What happened to EQS? 
What about Neo? Well, there are so many cars to choose between now. But yeah, ooh, we actually have okay space here in the trunk. Uh, what? What the heck is this thing? Huh? Is it a weapon? Okay, but um, yeah, so let me check here. What is this? Oh, okay, no, let's not touch it. We have 12 volt out of here, 120 watt if you need to power some cooler box. But it has okay space. What, what, did, what did they try recently? Yeah, I, I'm now testing Kia EV9 recently. It seems to have similar space, but the, the EV9 is not a minivan. I mean, it's still an SUV, but this is just bigger than the EV9. So you can expect to be able to take massive amount of banana boxes. Chart port is on the right side with the wrong side, should have been left side with the right side. Why the heck do they even have a butt plug for the AC? I mean, don't they have, they already have a leather seal. No, not leather seal, rubber seal around here. So it's not like the water is gonna leak out. Wait, how do we close it? Wait, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, that, that's it, that's it, okay. So, all right, what about here? We have conventional uh, glove box here. Here you have the nut covers. And then, let me see, but here at least, hmm, I'm missing some controls here. Wait, what about the lumbar adjustment? And what about the leg adjustment thing? Hmm, doesn't seem to have it here. Ooh, that's a small disadvantage. Uh, the, the front here seems a bit sparse compared to the back. It seems like they focus. Let me just open, open it. It seems like they focus everything on the back, you know? Okay, but is there a, um, a preset for taking the seat forward? No, it doesn't seem like it. So in that case, we might have to adjust this seat slightly more forward or some shit. And then we try to take this seat all the way forward. It is already all the way forward. Okay, and then I have to maybe just do this manually. So not sure how you're supposed to do this normally uh, because it doesn't seem like, wait, how, how far can it go? There, that's it. Okay. Um, and then you just have to climb in here in the second row, uh, sorry, in the third row. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can climb in between the seats. It doesn't seem like you have too much space, but if you skip many leg days, then you can easily skip, uh, squeeze in here. But for me, uh, that could be hard. Here we just have a cup holder. In the back here, it's like the prison because there is nothing here. There's a USB port here and that's it. Just lots of hard plastic. Here is padded at least. Yeah, and uh, there is no button here for closing in the thing. Uh, so I'm not sure how I'm supposed to do that if I'm sitting here, but wait. Oh, okay, huh, interesting. So I have three seat, seat in the back. How is the... How is the headroom here? Actually pretty good. Very good headroom. As expected, it is a minivan after all. The middle seat here could be a bit cramped, but can you at least recline? You see, uh, I have to find out uh, where, where do you adjust it? The problem is that I'm on, I'm on an expo and then I have maximum five minutes of preparation on each car. But uh, the angle is good, but let me see if I can get in between here. Yeah, I can, okay. And then I can show you here, the headroom here is also simply amazing. And then we might as well move over to the driver's seat and check it out. Voila. You can just, you just feel like this is a big tank, you know? But same here, you see, okay, it has the lumbar adjustment here at least on the driver's seat, but also no, no, I don't know what this thing is called here, but it doesn't have it. But here we have the, okay, I have to adjust this back. We have, I call it the bridge uh, design, but however, this is a bit shallow. Uh, the edge here is so small that if you have larger item and you go in a curve, it might roll off here. So that's a bit bummer. They should either make it deeper or make the cover higher. We have one USB-A there, we have 12 volt out of there. Another USB-A, no USB-C over here, maybe in the center console. Um, trying to feel what is in the back there. No, that's just some, some sensor or something. But at least you can put something there, but it is somewhat hard to utilize the space, depending on which car it is. Because see here, you're not gonna sit like this. You will usually go more forward. And then it becomes hard to, well, here it is actually okay, yeah. But it could be hard to utilize that, that space under there. We have two cup holders here. We have a phone holder here with ch wireless charging. I'm just gonna put it there, see what happens. Yeah, okay, it will fit Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. But it has this little uh, plastic, uh, sorry, this rubber uh, edge here. Wait, is it not charging? Okay, that's, that's weird. 
it, it has this. Okay, maybe I haven't turned on the thing. Okay, no, I think uh, my... No, what, what the heck was that? Yeah, it's not charging. Probably because my social uh, score in China is too low. <laughs> no, but okay, anyway, um, we have a center console here. Hi, Tore Alexander Sulan, CEO of Electric Bike. No, no, no. No, no, turn down the thing. I don't want to. The freaking. There's something from the screen in the back there came on. Okay, I turn it off now. Well, maybe I should have muted. Okay, my bad. But yeah, here we have the key for. Oh, this is the key for. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, it has some buttons there. Oh, wait, can I. Not to press and hold. Wait, why doesn't it work? Maybe there's no there's no battery here. I mean, there's, n but this should be able to charge here. It seems to be charged wirelessly. Uh, wait, where where's the? Where do I close the doors from here? Um, car. Uh, aid. Uh, okay. Uh, oh man. Oh, the the user interface. It looks really sparse. But uh, okay, I heard that this is Chinese software. It's gonna be better in the final version. Also, Chinese cars they always tend to put a screen for the passenger. I'm not sure what's up with that, but okay. But let me see. Let me see. Do we have more stuff in here? What? How? What the heck is this? There's a little. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, so uh, this is a quick walkthrough. I have to be quick, unfortunately, because there are so many cars I have to see. Oh, interesting. There's only light on one side, huh? That is so pervert, man. Either you have light here, maybe, but, huh? Okay, okay, whatever. What about on this side? Then there's pervert on the other side there. What the heck? Okay, but the car just feels like a tank. It has this manual thing here. But you can also open, let me see, how is this? Oh, there's some buttons here. No, that's, that's for the back, my bad, my bad. Here, here. here, you can open here. You can rent, look at that. You can even open it. Huh? Huh? Wow, okay. What is this? China is watching. Oh, uh, there's two infrared lights there. Yeah, I don't see them with my, my eyes. Oh, that's the, the, the cam driver camera thing. It's not here, like most cars will have it. So uh, yeah, 42% and 203 kilometers. Maybe that is the CDDC or whatever it's called, the China NEDC range. But okay, uh, what do we have here? Little opening there. There's a, um, yeah, okay. Anyway, Dune Audio. Yeah, so let me see. Will I, will I close this? Well, how do I close this? I have to just do this. Okay. So yeah, a quick walkthrough. Sorry if it felt a little bit stressed, but I have to cover as many cars as possible. So there you guys have it, the Voya Dream. Yeah, you can either be free or you can have a dream. And also, yeah, this also comes in a van version. I can show you that in another video. But yeah, and okay, I can show you the front, by the way. Yeah, for, uh, I keep forgetting. There's stuff that people care about. Where are the nozzles? The nozzles are located there and there, not on the wipers. And then we don't have any uh, headlight washer here. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, this is all I can test for now. Just a quick first impression of what it looks like. So that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.